Land reclamation is big business. Dubai, Hong Kong, Cape Town, Holland and Tokyo have all taken vast amounts of land back from the sea. Few countries have expanded in size like Singapore. From the 1960s until today, this world metropolis landmass grew from some 580 square kilometers to well over 700. Singapore achieved this growth through major land reclamation projects. These projects required vast amounts of sand, which were mainly dredged from the nearby waters of Indonesia and Malaysia. With more than 75% of the world's dredging fleet at work for Singapore, nearby Indonesian waters became the busiest area on the planet for sand dredging. But in 2003 this changed. That year, Indonesia and Malaysia banned export of sand to Singapore. This forced several major reclamation projects to be put on hold. Having to source sand from more remote areas, conventional trailing suction hopper dredges could no longer operate efficiently. Today, Singapore's land reclamation projects are left with slow and inefficient barges to collect sand from faraway places like Vietnam and Cambodia. The use of barges is inefficient both when loading and especially when unloading, which has led to chaotic conditions and serious congestion problems in Singaporean waters. Viking Development Group's Sandpiper system is a highly efficient, low-cost dredging system that can alleviate all these problems. Using large bulk carriers, the system can supply sand from as far away as Vietnam or even the Philippines and still be competitive. The Sandpiper system is based on Viking Development Group's experience from designing, building and operating the patented bulk lamer system which worked in Indonesia and Singapore between 2000 and 2002. The idea behind the bulk lamer project was to convert low-cost standard bulk ships into self-unloading sand carriers in order to facilitate economically viable sand transport over longer distances. Following the 2003 sand export ban, the engineers at Viking Development Group have worked hard to further improve the technology, now using principles and methods that are well known and proven within the dredging industry. The result is the patented Sandpiper, a system that combines the best parts of the bulk lamer with newly tested methods, thus drastically improving the efficiency when unloading. Here's how it works. An incoming bulk ship arrives at the sand deposit location and connects to the stationary dredger, either directly or through a floating pipe. A stationary dredger is already hooked up to the same pipe. Operating at depths of up to 50 meters, the dredger starts pumping slurrified sand from the seabed and on board the ship. Six of the ship's nine cargo holds are used to carry sand. And in each of these holds, the slurry is distributed evenly and in accordance with the vessel's loading manual. With a loading capacity of 15,000 cubic meters of slurry per hour, it takes less than 24 hours to load the carrier. While this is happening, excess water escapes through passive drains in the ship's hull. The final remains of seawater are pumped through a patent pending valve system at the bottom of each hold, leaving the sand completely dry. The sand quickly settles and the loading process continues until the ship is full. Fully loaded, the vessel disconnects from the pipe and sails to the unloading area.
As soon as it arrives, the ship anchors and starts discharging its load. Now the entire process runs in reverse. Water gets pumped from the sea and into the lower layers of the sand, turning it into slurry once again. The slurry pumps now suck the slurry out of all six holds. The sand can be pumped directly overboard or it can be delivered up to 500 meters away from the ship. And if needed, booster stations can increase that range. Once unloaded, the ship will be ready to disconnect and return to the loading area. It's simple, fast and cost-effective. The Sandpiper works just as well on 7-hold Panamax and 5-hold handy size bulk vessels as on 9-hold cape size carriers. With the massive pumping capacity at hand, the Sandpiper system can empty a cape size vessel with a capacity of 100,000 cubic meters in less than 24 hours. Smaller Panamax and Handymax vessels can be emptied in less than 15 hours. Increasing production volumes is a quick process. The system can be fitted onto any type of bulk ship in less than two months. And at the end of a project, it's easy to remove the Sandpiper equipment and put the ship back into normal trade. Because Sandpiper uses regular bulk carriers made for long distance transport, Capital costs and operating costs are much lower than for trailing suction hopper dredges. And with a maximum capacity of more than 100,000 cubic meters, a cape-sized sandpiper can carry almost three times more sand than the biggest trailing suction hopper dredger ever built. Viking Development Group will always seek to protect our intellectual property. And the sandpiper is no exception. Several patents have been filed and the first one is already approved. The Sandpiper has been developed in close cooperation with dredging experts. A complete set of Sandpiper technical specifications and drawings have been prepared, ready for production and installation. DNV have evaluated stability and structural issues as well as loading and discharge sequences and have given the project the green light. Test facilities have been built in Norway and the Sandpiper system has undergone months of testing with positive results. The Sandpiper system opens new markets because it makes it possible to actually transport sand over long distances, something that has previously been restricted to trailing suction hopper dredges with a working radius of less than 100 nautical miles. And perhaps most importantly, the Sandpiper will also aid countries which face challenges due to global warming and rising sea levels. The Sandpiper package represents a unique business opportunity. The Sandpiper can help Singapore and the rest of the world grow.